Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So the Yellow Jacket and Airwalker Arena is over. Round two is done. I already have both the champions, so I did not go for them in the arena. But we're going to take a look at the leaderboards and see if we recognize any names. Pretty sure he went low. He went very low. Uh, round one, uh, I forget, it's round 25, 26, something like that. Uh, and I suspect he went low uh, second round as well. All right, so without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and uh, take a look at these leaderboards here. Uh, one second, let me get this up here. There we go. All right, we don't look at the three-star arena because we uh, get the three-star uh, just for getting the milestones in all of the featured arenas, and I do all the featured arenas, top milestone, uh, so I always get three of them. All right, um, and we'll take a look there. I only went for the 5,000 shards, and I got them. And I'll show you what I put up and how I put it up now. Uh, four star, got what I was expecting. Okay, same thing there. All right, so let's start with the four star basic, Airwalker. And let's see if we recognize any names. Now, uh, Airwalker has been a very big disappointment uh he's not good and uh i got him as a five star for the low low when uh, he was in the arena as a five star and i don't use him anywhere outside of arena but just recently i was fighting him in uh, the arena and i was like okay um one of the things that i don't like is that you know, I'm not going to ever be able to fire off a special three in the arena with him. So I'm like, all right, well, if he doesn't have a special three, then I should be safe, you know, pushing him to a special three. No. So I pushed him to a special three and he killed me. I was not happy. So I went and looked up his uh, abilities and sure enough, uh, he has to have three of those charges that he gets or if he's defending, which he always is in arena. So I can't get a special three, but he can as long as I'm fighting him. It's wonderful, wonderful. Um, but in any case, he he he's horrible. Uh, I hope he gets a rework. Um, and I mean a real good rework, too. Not just a numbers tweak. Because that whole mechanic, I, I just don't like it. Um, unlikely to use him uh, if they don't rework him. Gray Wolf, congratulations. I'm pretty sure uh, anyone that I see on here that I recognize uh, is just picking him up because they don't have him. And that's how I built my roster as well. Uh, if I didn't have a champion, I went for him. And right now, I have all the four stars except for uh, Kang and um, Red Deadpool, two trophy champions. Uh, but everyone else I have, as a four star, that is. And I will continue. Right now, uh, I'm going for the four star Psycho Man. We'll grab him and uh, add him to my collection. All right, so here's the four star featured. And you can see I just put up enough for the milestones. Now, I'm actually doing something a little bit differently. So uh, for you guys that watch my stream, uh, you know I mainly do arena. And you've seen how I do the arena. What I have done for a while now is I'll start in the five-star featured arena. I'll use my lowest uh, four stars, go up to uh, win streak five, and then do a full round of my five stars, then a round of my six stars, and then after that, just six stars. That's when I'm just going for the uh, five-star shards. But my roster has grown. And what I was finding is that after I did a full round of my five stars, I had to stop. 
my six stars or else I would be up there at 25. That's how I accidentally got a champion before. Um, I think it was cable went really low. So what I do now, and it works out so much better. I run my five stars in the four star arena first, and that has a couple of benefits. So I can knock that out in one run. Okay. I'll still have some of my five stars left over, but I can knock that out and, and be done. But if you've watched how I, I usually choose my champions, I choose champions that are on synergy teams. Doesn't matter what the synergy is. I just like it. And so I'll go to that synergy screen and drag them from there. Well, problem with that in the five star featured arena is they only show your highest rarity, even if they are not available. Gray Wolf again, congratulations. Clean it up on these, eh? Um, but they, um, what do you call it? I lost my train of thought here. I was looking at this. Oh yeah, I was talking about uh, how I do the uh, arena thing. So um, it'll show it even if they're not available. So I'll never be able to pull when I'm just doing my five stars. Uh, they do have a rework coming that may address that. Persistent filters, I don't know if that's going to affect that or, or not, um, but I'm hoping. So what will happen when I'm in the five-star featured is I have to basically not use that and go down and search for the Synergy partners. Well, if I do the five-star, I mean the uh, four-star uh, featured first, I don't have to worry about the six stars showing up there because they can't. So I can basically knock that out uh, much faster, just quick, 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 go through it. And then when I go to the five star featured, you know, I don't have the five stars to worry about there. Um, and I can just basically knock that out even faster. So it works out better for me. All right, last arena, five star. So this score here is what I was able to put up by using this new scheme. So I basically ran my five stars in the four star featured, knocked that one out, got all the milestones. You saw it, it was like 4 million. And then I used my low level four stars. And I think I went up to 15 in four stars, just using my four stars to get to 15. And then I only use my six stars from that point on. And that's the score that I was able to put up. Normally, I want to put up about 22, but I knew he was going to go very low. Now, I got to say something. I got to give a congratulations. Do you guys see the number one, that Vinica? He's in my alliance. Uh, I told you guys he is a beast in that arena. He's insane. Y'all thought that I grind arena? I have never done that. Never been number one. Never been in the top three. I've gotten single digits before. Um, I don't remember my highest ranking, but no. Never that high. Okay? He is insane. I'm watching his points. He He's, he's crazy. Okay? Um... But congratulations, number one. Can't get better than that. Okay. Uh, so anyway, that is how I'm going to be running the arena now. And it's basically, it's a quality of life improvement. Um, and, and as my six-star roster grows, this is why I don't mind when I get uh, a new champion, even if they're not good because it's more points in the arena and it makes my life just that much easier. Ben Riley, congratulations, man. Um, so bring on more six stars. Uh, the five stars, I'm still going to uh, go for them and, and collect them. <laughs> Pastor Sammy, congratulations. Uh, I'm still gonna collect them. 
and it's just going to make you know it easier for me to get the um milestones now what i will probably do hmm I'm thinking about it yeah what i'll probably do is after i run the five stars through that like i've already run my five stars uh through the four star um arena now i'm actually going for the four star so i'm not going to stop but normally this that would be it i wouldn't use my five stars again but i may use my five stars to pad my score um depending on how you know if it's a new champion and i think they're going to go you know a little bit high then i'm going to want to put up a little bit more like between 22 and 23 uh million so i might do that um but i'll not have to do that as my six star roster grows It'll become easier uh, to do that. Um, but at the same time, five stars are, you know, starting, Not they're not there yet, but we're starting to move past, my account is moving past the five stars, and I'm focusing a little bit more on the six stars, but my five stars are still extremely relevant, uh, and I use them all the time. Uh, Black Gamer, congratulations. So, uh, we'll see. All right. So I hadn't been talking, been rambling. Uh, I hadn't talked about, uh, the arenas, but I'm assuming most of you guys know how these arenas work. Um, because they changed this arena to the top 300, every single arena that you saw, every leaderboard, everyone that you saw on the leaderboards got the champion. Um, but if you are one that got the champion, and you didn't get the top 200, feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know uh, what score you put up and uh, what ranking you got. Uh, and it's, uh, of course, now, since that arena is over, it's more of a historic uh, value. And if I missed your name, I am sorry. Just leave a comment. Let me know that I missed you and what ranking you got so that I can go back, look at your name, and try to fix it in my mind. All right. But that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, of course, uh, letting me know whether you liked it, whether you didn't like it. Leave a comment. Uh, take care, and you all have a blessed day.